My name is Phyllis Ndungu. I work at International Livestock Research Institute in Nairobi at Mazingira Center where we focus on environmental research. I'm here today to talk about why livestock greenhouse gas emissions matter. At the Paris Climate Agreement, all parties including East African countries committed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions through nationally determined contributions, an agenda that also supports Sustainable Development Goal 13 on climate action. And for the first time, agriculture was mentioned as one of the main sources of greenhouse gas emissions. To reduce national emissions, countries first need to identify and quantify the sources of their current emissions. They need these data for their reporting and to develop climate plans so that they can deliver on their commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. For most African countries, this is a challenge. Data is either insufficient or in most cases, countries lack the mechanism to collect the required data to accurately inform their national inventories. About three years ago, we set out to develop a protocol to quantify the emissions from smallholder livestock systems. The protocol development was successful and we succeeded in deriving the first actual on-farm greenhouse gas emissions from smallholder livestock systems. We now have derived the first accurate tier two emission factors for smallholder livestock systems in Africa. Our data enables countries to accurately report their nationally determined contributions from livestock systems. Because our methodology best fits African livestock systems, we now can hand it over to other countries so that they too can do similar work at a much larger scale. In many parts of Africa, livestock is not just meat. It is the major source of income, nutrition, and it is embedded in the cultural and social fabric of their communities. The Paris Agreement clearly states that countries should work towards reducing emissions without compromising on food production. Through our data, we can now inform ways of reducing emissions per kilogram of meat and milk produced by improving the productivity of African systems. So not only will we reduce emissions, we will also be contributing to SDG 2 on zero hunger.